What's happening, everyone? So uh, we just finished up the podcast there, me and Connor. So we're going to do a lower body workout here. So um, yeah, get watching. Okay, so we're starting off um, trap bar deadlift. We're going to go three sets of five. We'll kind of work up heavy enough. What sort of weight are you thinking here? Uh, 60. Now we'll go. We'll go. 160. We'll go, Andy. <laughs> Let's do Andy. it. Andy. What's that? What was the bar? Uh, 20. 20. <laughs> what would be your kind of better left lower body or upper body? Hey? Would your better left be lower body or upper body? Uh, That's actually incorrect, it's actually 220. Yeah. 220 done on the straight bar, that was with the trap bar, it could actually probably do more of the trap bar. But uh... No, no. Adam has fucking like these ridiculously big arms though, so he just basically curls the bar up like. Some good records on that board. Some good records. Right. <laughs> that was one of the maddest things I've ever seen. It was like, this is over another gym, yeah. and uh, Adam done it, and I thought I'd take a video because the last time he done, he done like a hundred, and it was pretty funny because at the end he was like pure shouting and yeah. all. And like I had the camera, and the camera was on for five minutes, and like it came up like me like you have no space left in your phone because you just fucking kept going and all perfect push ups. Yeah. Like I was unreal. 140. Oh, that was crazy. Uh, like uh, Rachel, uh, Rachel, Rachel, Rachel's got some good push-ups too. If you were going for one on that board there, what do you think your big lift would be? Chin-ups. Chin -ups? I'd say you'd be good at the, the walks to the ball. The big beast walks, say this one here. They just hold the ball. You have to do as many lengths as you can with it. That'd be good. Is it heavy enough? It's heavy enough. Oh, fuck, it is heavy. <laughs> <laughs> That's so heavy. 70 kilo. 70 kilo. <laughs> no, it's just like a wee oh, fucking no, person. Big, uh, <laughs> big boy Shane McGahan from Claudie. Yeah. He actually goes with uh, Glenn on. He was Hannah. Hannah. Yeah. He done that. Uh, Hannah there. Hannah Ferguson. Uh, Hannah. To be honest, Hannah never actually done that. We just just give her a, just give her. A, we just we pick Len on the board. Um, <laughs> she ain't done twenty two lengths that big ball. No drops. Just yeah. fucking carrying it, just like a wee wean. How have you adjusted the like training in the heat? I like, uh, find it tough or? So at the start, yeah. Especially right. with the actual like, like training sessions, it would have been hard. Um, but like, yeah, you know, change the heat and you literally just come straight in and you do a weight session. Is it all air conditioned in the gym or is it still roasting? It's air conditioned but still, it's still fucking hot. Right. Um, so the hardest thing to me to do is like, just maintain your weight. Like. Yeah, you're sweating so much like. You just got to drink like, we call it hydrolyte, but it's like, do you know what hydrolyte is? No, so it's, it's just like electrolytes. All right, it's okay. Like you pour in your water. Yeah. To your rock or something. All right. I'd imagine that goes quickly. Say so. Compression things were like fucking 600, 600 pound. Really? 400 pound. Yeah. So you're sitting going like, how many times I'm going to have to let someone use these before this makes me money? Do, but do, do, do you charge people to use them? Though? People come from outside. It was like yeah. So like a tenner for people to come in and use yeah. them. 
probably has paid itself back now, but then other ones that are in the the gym could like work away at it, yeah. as well as like guns. So there's like, people just come in, they don't even need the gun, they're just going like out there. <laughs> like, but it's uh, something different like. Right, so we're going, um, we did hamstring work and we did the core work. So uh, single leg hip thruster, bilateral slider curl with the legs, and then uh, two core movements with a off press and a dead bug. Um, and it's three rounds as a circuit, 10 reps per thing. Um, so the, you probably know all these and I will just go over them. Oh yeah, it's like bridge. Yeah. And if you want, you can add that weight to your hip. Yeah, that's, that's in my heart cool. forward. So if you only add a little weight to the free, I would just go. No, I mean, you know, side of the curve, Emily. Side of the curve, just set it out. Yeah, just set it out. Put that leg on, unless you prefer to do single leg. Ah, oh, so yeah. Just see how it feels. And then a uh, pal off press and... Dead bug. So dead bug. Do you do the dead bug banded or anything, or you just go body weight on it? Dead bug, this isn't it? Yeah, and then... Uh, I don't have to do this here, but I just do the detached. Cool. I don't want to be specific there. Aye. And for half cycles... So... Up the gap. Yeah, and then back out again, so 10 of them. Up the gap. Yeah. That's the one. Yeah, that's the one. Go double on it. Good. Nice. Okay, hip thrust. You're doing a lot of these at the moment, then, are you? Yeah, these are all my exercises. Not so much the Swiss ball. Yeah. That's your stuff. Yep. Good. So, uh, seven, eight, nine, ten. Whenever I lose count, I just start saying seven. <laughs> start one again. This is two good hamstring exercises here. Um, can you kind of kitten the two lay, two ways with the bent leg, and then with more of a straight leg, and that slider curl is kind of really eccentric. So whenever you're straightening your leg out in the run, you're strengthening that, which is good. Um, that one there, you're going to get a lot of glutes as well. And then uh, our core work is a pal off press. Uh, yeah, let's do Newton. Oh, just, just um, like so, or opposite knee. Yeah, and then you don't have as much stability. Yeah. Just yeah, and then just punching straight in front of you. That's it. Go for 10, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Nice. Switch sides? Yep. Just one. Do you want to slow moving? Quick. That there looks pretty good there. Key is just keep it nice and controlled. One of them movements looks so much, it's so much harder than it looks like. Good. And then dead bugs finish the circuit. So you can do a couple different versions of the dead bug, that's one option there. No idea do a slightly different version, but it's like both of them are pretty much the same thing. Can you hold that there for me there? That'll probably go black. So it's just because it's so long. Yeah. Get it boy. Do the harder one. <laughs> it's coordination. Extend it out. It's just ops, isn't it? Yeah. Get those abs working, boy.
Yeah, there we go, right? Do you do many of the 2K time trials in over there now? 2.2s. 2.2s? So I, I won't be doing it this year. First week we're back, we have body fat done and then the 2.2 time yeah. on the first Saturday. What time would you be wanting to do, like 1K in or like a kind of 2K time? Uh, so 2.2 2 for me is, my TV is 6.30 in the morning, so I'd be doing 2.2 and then I'd be doing 3.20s. 8.3 10s, 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 
<laughs> Get it. Good work. I think we leave it that. I think so. Yeah. I feel like we could do more, but don't know if that's going to be anybody's benefit. We've got to see. We've got to leave something for the next podcast. That's it. The next one we'll do fucking 400. <laughs> Two horses. Hey. Good session. Good work, no problem. Thanks for coming down. Ah, uh, it's always uh, it's hard doing like a lower body session yourself. Like I train by myself all the time. It's hard motivating yourself to do a lower body that, session. Seems me to train myself past what it is. Month nine it's been tough, like isn't it? I suppose you're so used to training with a whole fucking team of boys, like training with forty boys. Yeah, it's a bit of crap then going by yourself. It's just ah, it's like only miserable. It really is. People think like. I used to say, you have a gym, you should really train all the time. Like, it's fucking tough. Yeah. <laughs> it's tough to come and sit down here and train after being here already. Really. So cold, yeah. You're freezing as well, like. That's good. Good stuff. So, session finished up with uh, Connor there. Done a good wee session. Um, just some lower body work was not crazy, but um, Connor's kind of rehabbing from an injury as well, so he couldn't really go um, too crazy in anything, but um, just all fucking went as crazy as I did and I was kind of trying to push it. Um, but really good athlete, just fucking physically big and strong. Um, this 2K time is fucking flying too, so a big engine on him, but really nice lad too. Um, I've actually never never kind of met Connor before, like we've marked each other before in, in the game, but um, we've never actually sat and chatted before and real nice lad, so um, we'll hopefully get a catch up again whenever he's back from Australia. Um, but yeah, nice nice lad and how you have, you got uh, you know, all the people we've had in the podcast so far, I really appreciate. You know, it's nice that people are willing to take their time out just to do this here. They don't fucking get anything, like, I don't get anything from it. But they're doing it because it's kind of giving back to people that are watching, hopefully getting a wee bit of advice and something to take from it. So, um, yeah, really nice one, really nice lad. And, and everyone else, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe because I'm going to be putting up videos like this all the time. Um, if you like to share it about with your club mates and all that kind of shit, the podcast should already be up with me and Connor. It's a good one. Listen to it, some good insights in it. Um, so give it a listen. So yeah, thanks. See you in the next one.